Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we're going to white it out with a slightly lighter Salinko. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so before I get going, it's nice and hot today. Oh, and I totally need it. Anybody else suffer from uh, allergies out there? We're always about mid-March, right about now. My eyes, uh, my nose, everything. Coffee sponsor of the day, my man, Todd Hoyt. Todd, thank you so much for sponsoring my coffee this morning. You want to sponsor my coffee of the day? And keep me going. Network is buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin. Thank you guys in advance. So we got the whiteout 290 here. So 290 stands for 290 grams. That's before strings. Okay. As you can see, the racket is a box beam. It is squared off. So what does that usually mean? Control, feel, kind of a little more flex there because round usually means a little stiffer, okay? So obviously this is the control line of Selenko. Now let's quickly take a look at the numbers. I've already pre-arranged it for you guys. This is all strung weight. Strong weight is 10.7, which is about 303 grams. Balance is about 335 millimeters, which is about three points head light. Swing weight is 314. The RA on that is 67. The beam is a 21.7 millimeter constant beam. Okay, so key numbers to look at here. The weight. Pretty medium, medium range, on the slightly lighter side. Balance, pretty average for a racket about of this weight. Kind of on the slightly heavier side for something like this, but pretty normal on the control racket side. So what I'm going to expect here is a pretty semi-fast swinging racket. Semi. Um, kind of on the softer side because of these two numbers too, okay? So it's very much going to be like a Babolat Strike Wilson Blade, kind of in that category. Uh, on the lighter side, though, of those. So this would be kind of like a Strike Team Blade Light. On a 98 head, okay? On a 98 head, which is which the blade is. And the strike team is 100, though. So um, more like a blade then. Now, we strung with Confidential 16L at 52 pounds. Let's give it a shot. All right, guys, so on the court... Wide out, 290. Ooh, excited to try this. Goo's here with me, Coach Chris. Let's go. Guys are so excited that we got off the court with the white out. 2-9. All right. We'll start with Coach Goo as always. Thank you. Um, overall, I played with the original and the pro stock version, I believe. Um, the 290, definitely a great 
light racket, especially for the juniors who are coming up for switching from a 26 to an actual adult racket. I think Selenko, I mean, Selenko has done a great job with their rackets, especially for this current, these current models. Um, first of all, I love the simplicity of the design um, and the white. But no, it plays great. Um, definitely get a lot of like the weight transfers from the grip and all the way to the head really well for a 290. Yeah, definitely see a lot of upcoming juniors playing with this racket and especially, you know, changing from that 26 to that now adult size racket. All right. Coach Chris, what do you think? It's definitely uh, one of the lighter um, lines in the Selenko. Uh, I think definitely would be a good one as a transitional racket for sure too as well. Um, the head size is 98. It didn't really feel like that to me when I was hitting with it. It actually felt a bit bigger. So it's a lot more forgiving. Um, other than that, it is definitely a nice lighter one and it handles pace quite well too. So I definitely would recommend those who are kind of in between that kind of uh, young junior player who's looking to transition rackets. I think this would be a good interim. Who else? Coach Chris. Harry, too. But I think Coach Chris played great with it, to tell you the truth. I was watching him play, and I'm like, man. Thanks, man. But these two actually mentioned that it's a great transitional racket, which I also agree upon. I also believe that anybody who's just kind of starting the game, man or woman, um, should pick this up and give it a shot, because I think the weight would be perfect for anybody starting off. Great control, great feel. The racket comes through pretty quickly, easy to generate spin. Um, just, you know, great overall racket. I feel like in this category, this is one of those take and goes, right? This is, this is kind of a no brainer. If you're beginner, intermediate, um, just starting the game, this is actually that perfect racket that would suit mostly everybody. So, Aside from being white, you know, it's goes either way. Anyways, all right, I want to thank my man, Coach Goo, for hanging out with me today. Coach Goo, where can we find you? Find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. Where can we find you? You can find me at CB Chen Tennis, and that's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Blind man driving.